This is a cloud chamber. It consists of a supersaturated alcohol vapour, through which particles of radiation create trails of ionised gas particles, which causes the vapour to condense into visible tracks. The current tracks are produced by the small amounts of radioactive isotopes normally present in our environment, and potentially the occasional cosmic ray, which are charged particles, mostly protons, accelerated outwards in the supernovae of distant stars. Let's see what happens when we insert a sample of radioactive lead 210. Lead 210 beta decays into bismuth 210, which beta decays into polonium 210, which alpha decays into stable lead 206, ending the decay chain. As a result, we observe thick tracks left by alpha radiation, and thinner tracks left by beta radiation. Curved trajectories can occur when these charged particles are deflected by an atom, which we call Rutherford scattering. Kinks such as this one here could represent a muon decaying into an electron and two neutrinos. Since particles must be charged to produce these tracks, the negatively charged electron and muon do, and the uncharged neutrinos do not. 